today I'm going to show you how to make my brain boosting breakfast pancakes. What I'm doing, because I really want this recipe to be refined sugar free, is I've already pre-soaked my berries, a mixture of berries here, about a cup and a half of berries, with a tiny bit of raw honey and a little bit of water. Basically what I'm doing is macerating them so that the juices of the berries will seep out naturally. And this is what I'm going to be using for my topping. So I've just done that, you need to do that in advance and let it sit there for about at least 25 minutes. So I'm going to start with some oat flour. Oat flour is going to be my basis for this. So I'm just doing that out of just some, some um, good quality rolled oats. And what I'll do is um, just basically put them into the food processor. And then I'm going to blitz them into making an oat flour. Which is just so simple and easy to do. just in a couple of seconds I've already got that pasta to an olive oat flour. So what I'm going to add to this recipe is basically two bananas. Bananas are a fantastic way of raising pancakes. Two eggs. I really want eggs in here. Sometimes I don't use eggs in these kind of pancake recipes. Eggs are full of B vitamins and fantastic for brain health. I'm going to put two and a half tablespoons of cacao in there to give it that and that chocolatey flavour, but also because I'm really after the antioxidant quality of that. A tiny bit of vanilla, because why not? And in here, a little pinch of salt. So I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of salt here. As you can see in there, I've got absolutely no sugar. And then I'm just going to get half a teaspoon of baking powder, which I'll just put over there. Now that I've got all of these to back together, I'm just going to mix it together. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a blender, uh, you can use, um, and you can, or you can buy some oat flour. There's lots of options. to make myself some wonderful brain boosting breakfast pancakes. So I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil just to line the pan. You can do it with a non-stick pan. You could also do it with some butter or some olive oil, whatever you like. But basically I'm using just roughly half a cup of the batter for these pancakes here and then being an oat pancake it's always thicker and it's always something that's going to require a little bit longer, I'd say two to three minutes, three minutes each side, just to cook through. And there you have it. So I'm just going to shape that into the kind of size I want. And um, here we have the pancakes. So I've just finished my last pancake. As you can see, with half a cup of the batter each, it actually ended up making me four really good pancakes. So that's kind of when you look at the recipe portion. This has been sitting now for at least 25 minutes, and this is my macerated berries with the tiniest bit of raw honey, as I said, and a little bit of water. And as you can see, it's got a real, all the berries are sort of opening up, releasing their juices. So this is going to be the natural sweet flavor that you'll get in the berries. So here I'm going to just basically layer them over the top. And as you can see, the juice running down the sides, which is where all the sweet flavour is going to come in, so that you can really enjoy this recipe without having any added refined sugars. So here I have brain boosting breakfast pancakes.